Hey guys, what is going on? This is Goon here, and today we are continuing our Pokemon X Let's Play. Last time, we opened the Flower of Death, which will put poison all over the world, and possibly kill everyone. So, yeah. Anyways, let's take a look at our team. Of course, like every episode, we got Bird Jesus, our Pidgeot at level 15, he knows Swing Attack, Fly, Roost, and Quick Attack. We got Lion King, the Pyro at level 48, he knows Hyper Voice. Oh god, I almost said Hyper Fang. What? He knows Hyper Voice, Fire Fang, Flamethrower, and Workout. We got Steve the Embryon at level 51, he knows Quivette, Swift, Quick Attack, and Bite. We got Greninja, our little swag. What? We got little swag. <laughs> We got Little Swagger Greninja at level 48, he knows Smackdown, Water Pulse, Surf, and Quick Attack. We got Chuck Norris at Lucario at level 49, he knows Power Punch, Sword Stance, Sword Spear, and Bone Rush. And finally, we got Lizard Swag, our Charizard at level 53, we, he knows Wing Attack, Flamethrower, Slash, and Fire Fang. Now that I'm done stumbling upon my words, let's go inside. Team Flares. Super duper, duper duper secret hideout that's hidden in a rock. This literally potentially takes living under a rock to a whole new level. It's literally like you're you're living under a super fucking high tech rock. That is what this base is. So you could proudly say you're living under a rock. Not even like normal. All right, so it looks like Lissandre is right over there. The ultimate weapon's flower has finally bloomed above the soil. Don't you feel its beauty is captivating? As we speak, it draws its energy from the legendary Pokémon. What? We're not going to let you use the ultimate weapon. Even our resources and space and energy on this planet are limited. The number of Pokémon and people, rather, and Pokémon has increased to an unsustainable level. Whether it's money or energy, the ones who steal are the ones who win in this world. But that doesn't give you, like, the right to destroy everyone. I mean, Team Flare. So, you tell me, the Mega Ring, did you share it? Well, that's different. When is it something that can only it be shared? When something can't be shared, it will be fought over. And when something is fought over, someone must survive without it. The only way to create a world where people live in beauty, a world without conflict or theft, is to reduce the number of living things. But what about, like, the Pokémon and stuff? He just got burned. Oh, hold up, hold up. He's crying. Here's... What? You baby. Pokémon. Shall no longer exist. Pokémon are wonderful beings. Humans have worked with Pokémon and helped each other flourish. But precisely because of what they will inevitably become tools of war and theft. Enough of this. If you want to stop the ultimate weapon, I refuse to do so. I shall keep you busy for just a moment. So it looks like we are fighting the Doritos man. Lissandre. Alrighty then. So he's gonna send out Mincho. That Mincho, I think that's how you say it. Alright, so we're going to send out Bird Jesus. I'm pretty sure it's part fighting. Or I think it's mainly fighting. <clears throat> so that's going to work out in our favor. We're going to go for the fly. And then just fly up nice and high. He's going to go for the acrobatics. We're going to avoid the attack. And we're going to hit him with fly. Yep, super effective. One hit knockout. We just smacked him out of the game. Bird Jesus is going up to level 51. Not even bad. <clears throat> And, let's see, Little Swag's going up to level 49, and he wants to learn Extra Sensory. Yeah, why not? We're gonna get rid of, uh, <clears throat> what should we get rid of? Quick Attack. Yeah, it should be good for now. We don't need a priority move at this point in time. He's already pretty fast anyways. So, we got rid of Quick Attack and replaced it for Extra Sensory. Um, he's about to send in Gyarados. Alright, that might be a problem. Alright, we're gonna go for the fly anyways, and I'm gonna hope we can do a decent amount of damage. I have a feeling Bird Jesus might not last this. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this guy. So we're gonna go for the fly, and uh, we're gonna hope that we can uh, land a nice and powerful critical hit, because there's no doubt he's going to survive this hit. Yeah, we're gonna need to uh, power it up a little bit. Oh, shit. Oh, alright, um... That might be a problem. So we're gonna go for the fly one more time. 
Uh, Bird Jesus is basically um, at his last breath here. He is certainly not going to survive another hit. Bird Jesus avoided the attack. Not even bad. We're going to go for one more fly. We're going to risk it. Uh, he can miss one more thing. That would make me the happiest person alive. Come on. One fly. Bop. Come on. One more hit. Come on. No, 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 no. Ah, fuck. Alright, so it looks like Bird Jesus is done. That is a shame, but he doesn't have that much health left, so I can really, I can do almost anything at this point. I'm gonna send out Steve, because Steve is power, and we're gonna go for the bite. I think one bite should be enough to take out this Gyarados, though. So we're gonna go in for the bite. Can we? Yep, no problemo. Gyarados is now down. What shall he send out next? But first, Steve is going up to level 52. Alright, he's about to send out Pyroar. Yeah, we're gonna switch out to Lil Swag, because he should be going up to level 50 one of these days. I mean, like, most people use their starter, but, like, we don't use him that much. He's just, like, hanging out in the party. Alright, so uh, this should be a nice and easy one-hit KO. We're gonna go for the Surf, and I'm pretty sure that should be a one-hit. Yep, no problem, though. High Roar is now down, and we're gonna gain some nice experience from that. And Hunch Girl's left. I think we should be fine with uh, Low Swag for now, no problem. Alright, we're gonna go for the uh, Surf. We're gonna go for the Surf. There is a uh, need to do anything else right now. Yeah, we're just gonna eat that up real quick, and we're gonna go in for one more surf, and that should be the end of this hunch go. There we go, game over for him. Game over. Please try again. And Lissandre is now defeated. The strength to protect, huh? But what are you really protecting? A tomorrow that will only end up worse than today? Wow, he's a downer. Not even bad, $20,000. I could go for that. I'd like $20,000. You're as strong as ever, but... It's too late. There's no hope for you now. Go down to the lowest floor and see for yourself. It's not over yet. I mean, like, Swagmaster, let's go look for the legendary Pokemon and stuff. Like, trainers protect Pokemon, too, so... Like... Yeah, the entrance to the lower levels are down over there. Alright, so, uh, thank you very much, Serena. Let's hurry. Like, I'm impatient. Left my phone on charge. The house. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be facing an admin and a grunt. I really should put freaking, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. After this battle, I'm gonna put Lil Swag in the front, and I'm just gonna spam Surf and not give a shit about Serena's Pokemon. And that is how you fight a fair battle. Lion King is out. When did that happen? Did I switch them around recently? I could have sworn we had Bird Jesus in the front. I mean, I know he's fainted, but. Ah, uh, whatever. I am- oh yeah, true, 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 because Bird Jesus fainted, and he was next up in line. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna go for the Toxic Rogue for now, because I feel like he would be a little bit more of a threat. Compared to anyone else. Uh, for valid reasons. Not even bad, Serena, not even bad. Thank you for actually helping in a battle. Lion King's going up to level 49. And, uh, Wizard Swag's going up to level 54. And, uh, Lightbird is going for Night Slash. Thank you, Serena. You're actually being very useful today. I, I don't have a single complaint. Things are going just fine, in fact. Serena's being used as my shield. And I'm used... I'm just freaking attacking it like hell. See, that's why I went after Toxic Rope first, because I knew I could one-hit this thing, but I couldn't one-hit the other one. So that was a pretty good choice. And you fools don't even have suits. 
You might be strong, but your teamwork is still a bit lacking. And we're gonna receive about 7,800 and what's that? 70 or $40, whatever. It doesn't matter. So we're gonna change up our party real quick. And we are going to put a uh, little swag in the front. That way I can just sweep everything with Surf. And potentially piss off Serena. But no one cares. She doesn't even care. That is a true fact. Alright, so we're gonna take out these this front and admin real quick. I don't think there shouldn't be that big of a problem with it. So Maynetric and Mariana. Alright, so I forget, does Water Pulse affect the entire field? Or is it like not? We're we're about to figure that out. Hold up, hold up, hold up. No, it affects individual Pokemon. Extra sensory? No. Smackdown? No, I figured. So Surf is just gonna fucking sweep everyone. But of course, I'm not gonna complain about it, so. Well, my 3DS is it's really strange. I think my 3DS is running a bit slowly. Which is very weird. Because 3DS is... No, it is definitely running slowly. My 3DS is actually lagging. No wow, Serena! That was actually an amazing move. But no, it appears my 3DS is actually lagging. I don't know what happened to it, though. I am legitimately amazed. I didn't think this could happen. Wow. Alright. Yes, I lost, but no matter what, Lissandra is the one whom will take care of things. Alright, so we've won. Alright, guys. I'm thinking, let's see. We're about... Uh, we're not very far into the recording. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be right back. I'm going to try restarting my 3DS to see if that makes a difference. Because I don't want to make a recording that is laggy. I honestly have absolutely no idea why my 3DS would be lagging. Because, like, I, I would say that it could be the actual capture on the screen, but it isn't. So... I actually visibly see the lag on the screen of the 3DS. So, this recording will be right back. We'll be right back, guys. See you soon. Hello, guys, and we are back to recording. So, I've tried my best to uh, fix it up. The lag has fixed on my 3DS, however. I'm not sure if it's okay on the recording. As what I'm seeing from the recording, it's still pretty laggy. But, um, we're gonna have to deal with that for now, so if it is laggy in the aftermath, I apologize. Oh, it looks like Captain Useless has made her way back. I don't believe it. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I know, I'm just going to slow you down. Look, look at fucking Serena. She even knows it. She's like, she's not saying anything, because she totally knows that she's just completely useless and stupid as hell. Man, they're both stupid. But... But friends should stick together. I'm the one that should be, like, apologizing. Actually, never mind. I don't do anything wrong, so... You came all the way out here. You should just, like, go home. You... We don't... We don't need you anymore, right, Swagmaster? I... I'm gonna say, of course, because I don't want to get stuck in a freaking script loop. Because they're known for doing that. Alright, so... so Serena agrees that Shauna should come with us. Are you kidding me? It's like, yeah, you should totally come with us. Nah, I'm just gonna, just gonna stay right back here. I'm not gonna do anything. Just gonna, you can leave me behind. I just came for the inspirational speech. I'll see you guys later. Fucking Shauna. Alright, so we are battling a Team Flare admin and Grunt now. They're sending out... Oh, thank you very much. This is gonna be not even bad. See both of you later. Alright, so they're gonna go for the fake out. That's a pain in the ass. 
Uh, little swag is going to use sub and will it take both of them out? No. Oh shit. That's right. Uh, what do you call it? Is uh not even uh, part uh, anything, so it's not going to do that much damage. So we're going to go for the surf one more time, and freaking Houndoom should be down. That should be fine. Uh, Scrappy should be okay. Why are you telling me that Meow Stick is like fainting and stuff? It doesn't matter to me. Here, just use that. Take him out. We don't need him anymore. Thank you, I am so selfish with my attacks. Oh my lord. Steve is going up to level 53, and we've defeated the Admin and Grunt. Alright, yeah, I'm, uh, I just, did I extinguish your hope, or, like... No? Alright, just give me your money, and I'll leave you alone from now on. Alright. That's it for them, then. So we're gonna go right on down here. I'm sure there's some other admin or something. Yeah, we do have to hurry. Alright, here's the door. Oh, look who decided to catch up. It's an electric lock. Alright, so it looks like... This might help. It's a device that... Oh, shit! Freaking Shauna. She's a professional hacker, true? She's like... She's like anonymous and shit. Like fucking Shauna's anonymous. Works with anonymous. I mean, like, if she worked with anonymous, she'd be like anonymous's annoying assistant. I guess. No, we're gonna blame Clement for that. We're in the deepest part of the headquarters. Somehow hard to breathe in here. Really, it's not like we're living under a rock. Oh, would you look at that? That's some, uh... That's a lot of admins. It's none of your business, kids. The ultimate weapon has taken 99% of the legendary Pokemon energy. But just to make double sure nothing goes wrong, let me take these runs out. Are you kidding me? She just literally gave us the most inspirational speech. Look, even freaking... What do you call it? Serena, even she's like all... Like, what the fuck? This is why they're called Team Useless. Oh, Shauna, this again? Vincent, you take care of things here. I'll pr- Are, are you- Are- Are you- Are you kidding me? You're, you're gonna leave me here with one, two, three, four, five Team Flare admins, and you're going to go help fucking Shauna that's dealing with one admin. She's a fucking trainer too, you know. There shouldn't be, like, any problem for her to be able to deal with them. I mean, like, seriously. She's a trainer. She has semi... bad Pokemon. Team Flair has worse Pokemon. She should be able to handle herself. You don't need... To, don't leave me alone. Fuck you, too. So it looks like we're going to be taking out some of these... large quantities of Team Flair admins alone. That's absolutely wonderful. So she's going to be sending out Lightbird. We're going to send out Lil Swag. I'm thinking we're going to go in for the Surf for now. That should do a nice amount of damage. If not a one hit. I'm thinking it could be a one hit. Yeah, one hit. Nice, powerful one hit. Alright, so uh, Lil Swag's going up to level 51. That is nice. He's getting a little bit more powerful. Alright, they're about to send out Manetric. We're gonna switch out just in case. Who should we go into? Who should we go into? We're gonna go into Steve, I guess? Why not? Why not? We're gonna go into Steve. Alright, Steve is now entering the battlefield. And Manetric is now entering the battlefield. Let's see, we're gonna go for the bite. Alright, first things first, he's gonna go for the Thunder Fang. With my luck, he's gonna get a Paralyzed. No, thank you very much. We're going for the Bite. I'm thinking half health. Oh, a little bit more than half health. And we were able to land a critical hit. And, of course... Are you kidding me? Are, are you... Fuck! It's like... That was like the perfect opportunity and shit. It's like, no, that doesn't affect him. He's an electric type. I told you we were gonna get the freaking Paralyzed. I was so relieved that we didn't get in. What happens? We get hit by static. 
And of course, using Synchronize, it synchronizes the freaking status effects, and of course, it doesn't get freaking electric. It doesn't get hurt by it, so like... Oh my god. Pure rage. Alright, whatever. So we're gonna heal up our team really quick, because I want to just do like some sweeping and shit. Uh, first things first, we're gonna use a uh, revive on Bird Jesus. Bird Jesus gets a revive. We're gonna use Super Potion on the Bird Jesus. That should be fine for now. We're gonna use the Paralyzed Heal on Steve. And now we're going to switch around our team order so Captain MVP, the freaking uh, Lizard Swag, he's just pure power. Uh, we're gonna put him up front and we're just gonna sweep these grunts. Well, grunts. They're admins, but I consider them grunts. Because they're so freaking weak. Get it? They're grunts. I'm just literally making up a cover up story for me making a mistake. Are you kidding me? With the swallow! Can't they, like, not have that? They're so annoying. I know I've been over this, like, multiple times already. The freaking Swalot are annoying as hell. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We're gonna go for the Mega Evolve, and we're gonna go for the Flamethrower. I'm hoping to at least around half damage, considering it's a level 50 and the pain in the ass. So, we're gonna go in for the Flamethrower now. I'm thinking it's gonna do about half damage to a little bit less. Yeah, but we got the burn anyways, so things are just going to get better from this point on. So his defense and special defense is rising, like there wasn't a problem already, but it doesn't matter because this next turn he should be down anyways. We're going to open the flamethrower and the burn is going to finish him off. He's going to swallow, which is completely useless at this point in time. Oh, wait, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. Freaking swallow restores HP. So he's, uh, stop freaking stalling, like a little bitch. So, uh, at this point now, we're just gonna go for the Fire Fang, because I want to save the Flamethrowers for all of the other, uh, the admins and stuff. And, uh, that's the end of him, for the most part. He's just annoying, because he's able to take a hit or two. Uh, for that exact reason, he's a good staller. Anyways, taking all the legendary Pokemon's life force is an unfortunate necessary necessity to realize our goals. Here you go about talking unfortunate about taking a Pokemon's life force, meanwhile you're willing to kill nearly every single human on the planet and Pokemon. So like, where's your fucking heart? You make it seem like you have a bigger heart than you really do, you piece of crap. Alright, so this little admin here is gonna send out Mariana. And we are going to send out Lizard Swag. We're going to Mega Evolve, and as normal, we're going to go for the Flamethrower. And this thing is just going to get destroyed. 100% destroyed. Alright, we're going in for the Flamethrower now. One hit KO. Oh, shit. Never mind. It's still tech. It's, it's kind of a one hit KO. I mean, it, it got hit once. It got burned down. One hit KO, maybe. Just making excuses. Alright, Lizard Swag is going up to level 55. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. And everyone else is going to gain some nice and powerful experience. He's about to send in Houndoom. Yeah, we're going to switch out into... You know what? Why not? Chuck Norris. We're going to switch out into Chuck Norris for now. He's really fun to use sometimes. Uh, we could have sent out Lil Swag, but we've already used him, and, like, I don't want to overuse any particular Pokemon besides freaking Lizard Swag, because he's just, he destroys. So anyways, Houndoom is part Dark, so this should be super effective anyways. And, of course, one hit KO. That's the end of that Houndoom. We're gonna get some nice experience from that, we're gonna go up to level 51. What was that? Heal Pulse. What's Heal Pulse do? The user emits a healing pulse which restores the target's HP by a... Hmm. You know what? That is a good question. Like, 
by target's HP, does that mean, like, it can't be myself? I, you know what, I don't care, I don't care. We should be fine anyways. Uh, and, uh, worst comes to worst, if I did end up fuck. No, I didn't want to hit forget. Oh my lord, quit. No, just spam B, spam B. No, spam A. Thank you. Worst comes to worst, if I am wrong on that, I can just go to the move tutor later on. You know, the little remember -er 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 thing. And I can easily correct my mistake. If something does indeed happen. And we got one more admin to take out. I'm hoping this shouldn't be that difficult. It is the one in the back, so I'm gonna assume it's the strongest one. Wow, never mind. Scratch that. It's a freaking gold bat. Level 50 this. We're gonna Mega Ball, we're gonna go for the Flamethrower once more, and I'm pretty sure that's just gonna freaking take him out. He is bad, special. Oh no, he was able to survive at least one hit. Alright. Too bad for him. Goodbye, goodbye. I probably could have taken him out with a Fire Fang anyways. But why the hell not go for overkill? It doesn't matter. Everyone else is going to gain some nice and powerful XP, and the admin is now down. You're just trying to benefit from our success, aren't you? Maybe I just want to live. Maybe I just want to live. No way. This puts the no in way. No way. There we go. Contact Lissandra. Call for reinforcements. So, all right. So, um, I guess I don't know what we do now. We talk to him. Did I just hear a crack? Uh oh. So, uh oh. Cutscene. Cutscene. That's a cutscene. Super, super, super duper animation. Something big. Oh shit. Bro, I thought you used all of its fucking energy. What happened to the 99% of the energy you just said you took from it? You took 99% of its energy, yet it has more than enough energy to freaking revive itself. What the fuck? Whatever, whatever. That, my friends, looks like it's Xerneas. Oh my lord, that is absolutely epic. That was one of the coolest animations that has ever been introduced into this game. Oh my lord. That was awesome. So are we about to kick its ass, or... What? What's going on? Oh! Oh, we're in a battle with Xerneas! Oh, that's awesome! So this is where we do it. Fuck him, I'm using a Master Ball. I don't give a shit what you guys say. I don't care. All I get is, like, Pokeballs and shit, and Net Balls and Nest Balls. I don't fucking care. I'll worry about Zygarde later. I'll just, like, get Ultra Balls and shit. There! Now there will be a riot in the comment section. My day has been made. Legends... Legends say it can share eternal life. It slept for a thousand years from the form of a tree before it's robot. What the fuck? How does the Pokedex know? What? Wait, what? We... Th what? What? We literally just revived it, and the poke... Whatever, I'm done. I'm done. Go. We're not nicknaming you. Go to the PC. I don't want to talk to you ever again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Add Xerneas to your party or the box. No, we're not gonna... We're gonna leave him in the box. Yeah, it's fine. We don't need him in your, our party. We're strong as it is. What a relief. Now they can't use the ultimate weapon. You're amazing. I know I am, aren't I? 
Legendary Pokemon to be your friend like that? It's unbelievable. I know, it was total skill, right? Holy shit, what happened to him? Holy shit, what is that guy from freaking Spider-Man? Is that Dr. Octopus? Holy shit. What the fuck? Alright, so I think we've pissed him off. He's turned into, I think his name's Dr. Octopus, so... Hopefully he doesn't rape us. Alright, so... Oh, he wants to take the legendary Pokemon back. Alright, this time I won't lose. I too shall use the Mega Ring and Mega Stone that you researched during your travels. Oh, it looks like we're in the... Oh, he legitimately has a ring now. Alright. That's... Okay, that's pretty cool though. So, he still has four Pokemon. However, we do know that his Mega will definitely be the Gyarados. Bro, are we on the sun, or... See, that's the power of Dr. Octopus. He's finally harnessed the power of the sun. Don't you see? Alright, you know what? Let's see, I'm not gonna Mega Evolve Charizard right now. I might end up having to Mega Evolve, uh, Lucario. It's not gonna do anything, sir. Sir, research your type, sir, 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 sir. Research your typing. Watch, he's gonna use a freaking potion or something. Nope! So he's gonna be as easy to beat as last time then. So chances are, he's going to send out Gyarados next, if he follows the trend that I think he's following. Now he's sending out Pyroar. We're gonna switch out to, uh, Lil Swag. Oh, we even got our Pokemon healed. It's not even bad, folks. Not even bad. We could have still beat his ass from, like, thank you Pokemon from last time, so it doesn't even matter. He's weak, so he's going for Unnerved. Well, good thing we don't have any berries on him, don't we? So we're gonna go for the Surf now, and if it's the same as last time, bye! Pyroar has now been defeated. Is he gonna send out Gyarados now? He's probably, like, waiting to the last second or something. Yeah, he's gonna wait to the last second. We're gonna keep battling for now, and we're gonna take care of this Honcho Girl with a little swag, and then we're gonna switch out into the Lucario, where we're going to Mega Evolve, and then immediately go for the Aurasphere. Because if I know him, he's going to Mega Evolve Gyarados right when he comes out, and when he does, he's going to lose his Flying type, and he's going to gain Dark type. And that Dark type will be used to my advantage. And with any luck, I might even be able to one-hit him. So we're about to see what's gonna happen. We've already defeated all of his Pokémon. Obviously, Gyarados is holding the Gyarados sites because he just threatened us with the Mega Ring. Which is really nice in consideration. We're gonna keep our old moves for now, yeah. Alright, and the rest of everyone else can gain some experience, and he's finally sending out his Mega. So we're going to switch out to the Cario, and we're going to immediately Mega Evolve, and I'm going to hope we can land a one-hit. I hope he gets like a cool animation or something for uh, his freaking Mega Evolution. So if I know the AIs, they're going to go for the Mega Evolution right off the bat. So we're going to predict that, and we're going to go for the Aura Sphere immediately. First things first, we're going to Mega Evolve, it looks like. There we go, and Lucario is now Mega Evolved into Mega Lucario. Such name change, much wow. And if I'm right, his Gyarados will be Mega Evolving now. There he goes, he's now Mega Evolving into Mega Gyarados. We're gonna use that Dark Typing to our advantage. Of course, we're probably going to be faster than him. He's using Mold Breaker. We're gonna use the Aura Sphere, and this is gonna be nice and super effective on him. Nice and powerful. He's gonna go for the Earthquake. That actually has potential to KO me. Shit. Alright, so he was indeed able to KO my Lucario, unlike us. So, what I'm gonna do now is, he's now Water Dark type, I believe it is? Water Dark, Water Dark. Um, the best thing we could do right now is probably send out Bird Jesus, and we're gonna use Fly, but chances are, as I said before, he probably has some sort of potion. 
there's no way he'd be like the final boss or something like that. It doesn't really matter if I use Fly, but again, he is a Mega, so I don't want to take any risks of using any lower moves. There we go, and his Gyarados is now down, so things ended up working out just about the way I planned it to go in the first place anyways. So we were able to defeat him without any major casualties. So we beat him again, and he's all pissed off and raging. Our power level is over 9,000. That's why he threw it, you know, get it? From the eye, he like destroyed things. It was, yeah. Oh, look at that freaking pose! That is some badass posing. Not even bad. I mean, he's all pissed off, he's yelling. Um, you know what I think? I think there's only a little bit of something that is still best to share it. Even if you managed to use Mega Evolution, that's because Gyarados shared its power with you, didn't it? And not just Gyarados, but your other Pokemon, too. Oh. Legendary Pokemon is gone, so you can't use the ultimate weapon anymore, right? You don't have to worry about the future all by yourself. I think everyone should work together to make a better, beautiful world. If that were possible, all wars would have ended long ago. I can only see one future. One where selfish, foolish humans think of nothing other than themselves and steal more from one another. It's a tragic future. The original purpose of this device was to bring a Pokemon back to life, but the ancient kings transformed it into this ultimate weapon. Hmm. When the legendary Pokemon awakened, it took back much of its energy, its power that had been sent to the ultimate weapon. There's not much power left, but there is enough to use it once. Vincent, Sycamore's pupils, let us live forever. That's right, I shall grant you eternal life. Not even bad, okay. Let's let him use this weapon. I'm okay with that. I'll give you the pain of endless waiting for a beautiful world to finally be built. Oh, it looks like we're about to get the fuck out of here. He's fucking insane, though. Not for nothing, and freaking eternal life. That wouldn't be that bad. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. More animations. I'm liking this. Look at that. He's about to kill everyone. This is cool. Alright, it looks like he's actually using the ultimate weapon. Oh, shit. No, 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 no! Did he just fucking blow it up? Oh, someone's getting fired! Someone is so getting fired. Holy shit. That is one hell of a fuck up. I really respect the courage and kindness you all showed. Thank you. We're all fine. What the fuck do you mean? These freaking Tierno and the, the, the geek guy just got here. They didn't even show any courage. They just walked onto the scene and they get credit? What the fuck? Are you guys okay? Yes, as you can see, we just got here and are doing fine. If it wasn't for our help, our work, everything would have been horrible. Who are these Cena and Dexio you speak of? We're the masked heroes. Don't worry about it, Tierno. We're all doing the best we could to stop Team Flare's plans. Oh, and we have a little bit of news for you all. We managed to destroy the machine in Lissandra's lab that was spying on people's holocaster transmissions. So that we won't have to deal with Team Flare anymore, now I can finally go back to filling up my Pokedex. So it's finally over, right? We can go back to our adventure, right? Let's go to Anastar City and start over where we left off. Bye! Thank you, Smackmaster. I have so much for respect for you as a friend. It's because I respect you that I want to battle you, or beat you in battles, your rival. I really mean it. Bye. Oh shit, it's the old man. A long, 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 long time ago. A very, very long time ago. 
shit, it looks like fucking Superman saved the world today. This ma the man made an ultimate weapon. Using it required the life force of many Pokemon. The Pokemon granted eternal life learned this. The resurrected eternal Pokemon left the man's side. The man was surprised and sad. He had revived it so that they could be together. The day after day passed. They were never to meet. Eventually, he became a mere shell of a man. A man condemned to wander forever by the light of the weapon. And a Pokemon that also wanders eternally. Where is it now? What do I have to do to meet it? You could walk over into the sunset listening to some pretty hard rock music. That normally helps people's problems. Well, that's one hell of a mess that we've made. I blame Obama. Alright, so I think we've caused enough destruction this episode. It was a relatively long episode um, when everything is said and done. So thank you guys for watching today. I gotta admit, this is probably one of my favorite episodes that I've ever recorded, even with a tiny bit of lag. So um, if you saw the lag, I'm sorry. I don't even know if you saw it. I only saw it in my preview. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked today's episode, please smash that like button down below. If you like my videos, make sure in the comment section below, let me know what you like about my videos. Or what you don't like about my videos. That way I can improve the quality for you guys. Make sure to leave a subscribe if you like all of my content. And of course, answer the question of the day below. That is about it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.